And um, I don't know what, what needs to happen when the mind starts uh, grasping concepts or beliefs. What needs to happen to shift that into realization and knowing? What is the process that occurs in the mind, within the mind? There are two different kinds of thoughts. There are thoughts that come from the ego that will waste your time and degrade you and put you into states of anxiety and lust and attachment and, and all of those other vices of the ego, the arrogance, the narcissism, etc. And then there are higher thoughts, the archetypal thoughts, the thoughts that come from God when you're in an, an inspired state, or the thoughts written down by the great sages. So I would recommend that you use your mind to study the teachings of the great sages of all the traditions, whether it's Sri Ramana or Ananda Ma or the great Christian mystics or the Kabbalists or uh, uh, the great Sufi sheikhs uh, and the Sufi poets, uh, all of the great literature of a higher spiritual nature can uplift your mind to going beyond mere symbolic thought to receive the real, uh, true, uh, blissful vibrational frequencies that can never be articulated in words or even in music, they're beyond. But you can then translate them into words and music and art of all kinds and, uh, and action uh, that is wise and intelligent, but you have to first receive that, the higher mind. So don't settle for the ego mind. Bring your attention to that level of thought that will come from silently listening to what your real self wants to tell you. And then once you do, your ego will be drowned out and there will be a flow of wisdom that will come from the higher place that will then guide you from then on.